Hello my friends. Good evening. Hi guys. My name is uh, Angela and I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixieville over here in Frankfurt in Germany. Um, also IOD uh, retailer and Woody Band retailer and um, I'm in chats. And tonight we're going to have uh, a little bit uh, fun with um, well all the products basically. When you join me, please let me know where you're watching from. And uh, hi Norma, thank you for joining me. Um, and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you want to visit my shop, um, it is uh, near Frankfurt in Germany. So welcome over here. Hi Nina, happy to see you. Um, so tonight, um, I've got some more ideas for this uh, little colorful beauty. I decided on the, the hardware. Um, it's got like one drawer, um, which still got to be in, uh, painted from the inside. And I've got this like nice and sparkly um, handle, which is going to go, oops, on the floor. Not really. It's going to come on the front. I think that uh, is going to suit it uh, quite nicely. Hi Ray, hi Anne. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Just say hello to me wherever you watch from and uh, just tell me what time it is. It is pretty late over here in Germany. It's 10 p.m. So it's late at night. And um, on the top here, I'm going to have like a little wood you bend piece. This is this keyhole. It's gonna go up here um, because it's basically just like a, a dummy, so to say. And on top, I've got uh, a stamp from IOD. It's like all those butterflies, which I think they are quite cute. I want to have them on top. What do you think? Hello, Malgozata. Hi to Poland. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Melissa. So let's go and have some fun. I will start with the Woody Band because I want to paint that before it goes on. For those who don't know Woody Band, Woody Band is like ornaments. They are made of high depth. Glad you made it. Um, they are made of wood and they are solid as wood, you know, and you can drill them, you can sand them, you can sew them. Um, and when they are heated up, they get nice and bendy. So you can like twist them around corners and stuff like that. So um, this is the wood you bends. And I have made myself because I couldn't decide. I want to have some bling bling on there. And I want to have some metallics on there. But as I, as Dixie Bell only has like the silvers and the golds and some blues and stuff like that, which don't really go with this piece. And the rosé is uh, too bright for me. I made, I made a custom purple for myself. So this is my custom purple. What do you think? Do you like it? Can I see some hearts if you like it, please? It's so easy to make, guys. Um, I didn't write down the measurements. I'm very bad with measuring because I'm just like, you know, mixing the things together and um, see how it turns out. But the, the colors I've used for that are the Moonshine Metallics, uh, the Pacific, the uh, Steel Magnolia, Halo Vera, and just like a little bit of the uh, honky tonk red because as you know thank you norma as you know red and uh, blue they turn purple so um I, but you just need like a tiny little bit of the red you know and the uh, moon the steel magnolia i put in there just to brighten it up a little bit because uh, only those two together, the Pacific and the uh, Honky Tonk Red, was pretty dark. And with the Steel Magnolia, I've brightened it up, basically. So that's how I mix myself the um, that purple. And this is what I'm going to use. So Sorry, I've got to have a sip of coffee. Coffee keeps keeps me going. So I can drink coffee any time of the day. So... Okay, I'm going to paint that first. You can paint the woody bands uh, before you apply them. You can paint them when they're already applied. 
So that works nicely. And you can use all paints on the wood you bends also. You can use, you can see, it's like me, I'm really bad. I've broken the end bits off. So <laughs> but that's what I do. I carry them in my shop and uh, when I manage to break some, um, I keep them for myself and I use them up. So I use quite a lot, quite a lot wood you bends. So see that you can see, uh, I'll leave it on here. I'm going to paint it beforehand. I'm just using a normal artist brush for it. And this is going to be applied with uh, wood glue. And whatever surface you're gluing it on, you can glue it onto any surface. I've just done a live on the Would You Bend page itself and um, I've put it on a glass bottle. So, oh, I like that. That's pretty. That's very pretty. It's just about the nice, the, the nice sparkle to add to this funky little sewing table, what it was. So, and bits also cover my fingers as per usual. But that's a good thing about those paints. Also, they are all water-based, even the metallics, and uh, you can wash them, wash your fingers afterwards, and there, there's like no staining or anything. You can wash it right off. Also. I'm somebody, I'm allergic to almost anything, you know, even with uh, cosmetics, I have to be very careful, creams and stuff like that. And I've got no problem whatsoever with the, with the Dixie Belle paints. So this is the first part. I'm going to apply that first. Yeah, I missed a tiny little bit there. The good thing about the Moonshine Metallics, as most of the products from Dixie Belle, they dry pretty quick. So you can carry on with your projects very quick also. And it covers nicely also. Just make sure I've got everything covered. I should oh, I'm already making a mess again. That's me. So I'm just drying it off quickly. I've got my heat gun here. Sorry for the noise. Then I see if I have to apply the second coat. The cover is uh, enough, or if I want to have a second coat. Oops. And it's very light, as you can see. You can blow it easily off. That's pretty. Look at that color. That's really pretty. I like that. Going to apply a second coat, I think, just to make sure. I have to clean my my brush. I dropped it in the paint, which is uh, just too much. So that's better. Just quickly. I want to have a solid coverage on there. And then I'm going to apply it on the project on the front there. So what projects are you guys working on at the moment? Are you working on anything or? Tiny bits also. So dry it off quickly and heat it up at the same time. That's what I'm doing now.
this is now, you see, this is now bombed up and now it's nice and bendy. So I shall stick some wood glue on there. As I said, no matter what surface you are applying it to, you are always using wood glue. Out. Spread it out with a chip brush. Renee, if you have no sound, you have to go out and come back in. Pay off bedside tail stops on all of that. Let's paint the wrist. That sounds good. Gold goes perfectly with this putty. That sounds really good. So. This is gonna go. Sorry, I've gotta go in the way now. I'm going to eyeball this, but uh, I'm, I'm being in the way now. But. That about the middle. That about the middle. Can somebody help me? I think it's a little off, isn't it? Over there. Middle. Middle. I'm going to put Instagram over there. Yes, I think that's, that's quite the middle there. It's good enough of a middle for me anyway. So. Stick that on there. If there's uh, excess glue squeezing out on the sides, you can um, use a toothpick or something like that and clean it off. Got to smush it to the surface first. I'm firstly going to put it down. And then I'm going to squish it nicely on there because I don't have like those tiny bits on there also. I'm go on the outside here. Yeah, it's the other side. It's this side, yeah. Just a bit from this side. It's very tiny, the whole thing. But I'm going to get it and you won't notice at the end that this was broken. You can attach them together uh, beforehand also, but as this is so fragile and so tiny, um, I'm doing it on the project itself, which is going to be fine. So that's the place I want to have it. Already glue squashed out there. Take that off first. And then I'm going to come in with my heat gun. Whatever surface you're applying it onto, even if it's glass or a mirror or something like that, heat it up again because um, no surface is like completely flat. Warming it up again. to squish it. You see that just some more glue came out there and now I'm like uh, really snuggling it onto onto the surface because now it's uh, you know basically all like um, the areas which are not completely flat is like just like snuggling itself on onto and into those areas. So, what do you think? That looks already quite cute, I think. Um, it's uh, wood glue. It's regular wood glue. And as I said, whatever surface you're using, even if it's glass or metal, you always use wood glue for the, um, for the wood you bend ornaments. 
So this is the first step. Now we're going to come to stenciling. And um, I'm going to use the metallics for the stenciling also. And I have to get up for that. You won't see my face now, but if you have any questions, make sure you put it in the you put it in the comments. Um, Nina, I didn't drill the hole yet. I will drill a hole, obviously. You know, there were there's like the handles which were on there. They had like two holes. I filled us up with uh, Dixie mud, and they're closed now. I'm going to drill the holes. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to measure that that hole for the for the hardware. This is just basically, you know, I think this is uh, gonna be quite cute with the one on top and this one there. So, but we're going to do the stenciling today because I want to have some butterflies on there. So, I'm first gonna clean that brush off. The, uh, the reason we're using wood glue is uh, the wood glue is um, elastic and it stays basically elastic. And when you when you heat it up, it uh, reactivates also. It's a uh, water solvent, so that's why I'm just like cleaning that um, little brush off with a baby wipe now where I use the glue for... It's only a cheap chip brush, but uh, even so, um, it's... Um, I don't want to waste things. So that's clean. Now... Over so you can see a little. Make sure I drop the camera down a bit so you can see what I am doing. And Instagram for you also. Okay. So, as I said, I'm using a stem from Iron Orchid Designs. It's the well, it's the butterfly. That's what it's called also. It's like a huge butterflies in there. And when you use them for the first time, you use them for the first time, they come, they come with like a, a cover sheet, a clear cover sheet, and they are on another clear sheet. When you use uh, the stems for the first time, you um, have to condition them which means you take um, some sandpaper, some very light sandpaper. This is about, this is from Dixie Bell Sanding Sponge, which is about a 220 grit. And you condition those first. Let me see. I don't want to damage the top. So I'm going to put this, um, the drop close down so you can see. And um, conditioning means we go over it in both directions, you know, like um, this way and this way. And this is basically to get rid of um, from the production some residues which might be still on the on the surface of the, the stems itself. And the paint you're using is uh, sticking better to it. You can use uh, loads of medias with the, with the uh, stems. You can use um, inks, stamping inks. With those, you get like a nice crisp uh, image. You can use um, all sorts of paints. I like also using the um, chalk mineral paints. With the uh, chalk mineral paints, um, you have like a bit more of a, a cloudy image. It gives you a little more of the distressed look, and the same is with the Mucha Metallics. It also is like more like a distressed look. So, you only have to do that um, for the first use. You know, for the, you know, if you use them the second time, that's fine. So, then you just uh, clean it off with uh, the damp cloth. 
Very be careful. I've used one for the Big Mama's butter earlier and I don't obviously don't want to have any oil residue on there. So I'm just dampening the cloth now and I'm just like cleaning that off just in case there's any dust or something like that. So now what you can do, um, they are attached to this uh, yeah, to this uh, back sheet also, which is pretty, pretty tight. You can take them off there and they're sometimes pretty tight on there. You really have to pull and you don't need to worry. You won't, you won't break them. They are very solid. So you can um, stamp with them like this. You can put them on another sheet like um, the cover sheet which was like on there can put it on there and use this this is basically what what i like to do because like this you have something to uh, to grip onto and to move that stamp around you know and i like those flexible things you, because you can bend it around corners and things like that but I'm going to cut this to size. I'm going to see which ones I'm going to use. This one I'm going to use for definite and um, I will see which ones also. So, that to the side. Now, for um, applying the paint, I have this, um, this is like an old, it's like one of those uh, cutting mats from Ikea, which I quite like to lay the paint out on. Got this there. I've got uh, the brayer from Iron Orchid Designs to apply the paint. And hi, Sully. Thank you for joining me. So... Thank you, Shirley. Yes, I love this too. Hola, Anna Maria. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. So now I'm going to get my custom moonshine metallic. That lovely purple. I'm going to put a little on this mat. Oh, it's like quite a lot little and this is brayer I'm going to roll that out and then I'm going to apply it onto the stamp so and I intend to go for a distressed look so I don't want to have it perfect. I don't need clear imprints or something like that. I quite like the distressed look. So when you put it on, this is what it looks like now. There's like uh, all the all the um, the paint on there, and then you choose where you want to put it down. And what I, you know, you can put it down with the middle and just let it drop. You can put it down in one side, hold it down and let it drop. But as soon as it uh, touched the surface, you don't move it anymore. You know, you just leave it on there. You go over it with your fingers. You hold it firmly down, go over it with your fingers and... Just press it down, all the areas. Hold it down. You can lift up to check if the printing is fine for you. Which looks good to me. And then you lift it up. There you have it. There's a nice butterfly there. I'm going to have another one down here, I think. Yeah, this way around. Same thing. 
go with your brayer, put it on here. Oops. If you made a, a mess like I did there just now, get a baby wipe and take that off. Because obviously we don't want to have those on the thing, even I like to have this dressed look. Same thing, put it down, commit, let it drop, tickle on there. Um, those stencils come from IOD, it's Iron Orchid Designs. And they also do transfers and molds and stuff like that. So this is my, those are my favorite things. And I also carry those in my shop. So um, if anybody needs help with those, you're very welcome. So that looks good. That looks good. And this does like adds like this little bling to the um, to the whole project. So let let's see which butterfly shall we use next? I'm gonna use. I think I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one, that little one. What do you think? Take that off. What you should look for is that you keep the, the back of your stems, that you keep that nice and clean and don't contaminate it because otherwise it won't stick anymore to any, doesn't matter if you use a, a stamp block or those uh, thin mount sheets or something like that. Do the same thing, I cut it off. Sometimes I don't even bother to put it back onto the um, the main sheet because when it's solid on here the more often you take it off the the more risk you you have to, uh, to um, contaminate the back and it's not sticking anymore which is then really a pain so again go over it with the brayer apply the paint It's nicely covered. So I'm going to put this like that again. Put it down, commit, and don't shift it anymore. If you if you shift it. If you shift it, you get like uh, ghost images. So it can look good, but uh, this is not what I intend to do here. Then you press it down in all areas. If you want to check, you hold down one side. Okay, that's still a little bit down there. Let's see, that's it. I like that. other side apply some paint this here put it down commit oops now shift it a little bit <laughs> See what happened there. Oh, it's still okay. It's still okay. We'll lift it up. I was lucky. Then what else I want to have on there? It's so pretty, pretty. I love those. Um, I love those. Mm, uh, which one would you would you like to see? Oh. Shall I put one of those bees on there? 
are just the butterflies. I think I want to have, I want to have, I want to have a bee. Yeah. I Also, putting it on those um, clear sheets. This, this was the cover sheet they came with. Try some paint with the brayer. It's a bit, you know, when you practice, practice maybe first on a on a practice board or something like that. It's a bit, um, you've got to um, develop a little bit of feeling for it so that you don't have like uh, too much, um, too much. you don't have too much paint on there or not enough paint as I said this is a little bit of practice and if it's too juicy or something like that and you don't like it you can always especially with the Dixie Bell products they are water-based and you can uh, basically um, you can basically wipe that off and do it again you can if you want to make really make sure that you can correct it you can put like a coat of a sealer underneath um, like a top coat or something put it, oh, put it down commit don't let it slide That one is a bit juicy, doesn't matter. This was like because I moved it, I didn't uh, put it down uh, hard enough or so solid enough. Thank you, Sully. The dragonfly, shall we use the dragonfly? I quite like that. I was thinking about that. I think we're going to put the dragonfly somewhere at the front here. Let's use the dragonfly. I said they're pretty, uh, but you won't rip them, so don't worry. Put it on this clear sheet here. nicely on there and as I said you you don't have to put it on there for me it's just you know you have like something to hold on to it's um, it's easier to handle than uh, if you just uh, use the, the stamp on its own thing it's your prayer. You don't have to push on it, you know, just um, move it gently over it so that the paint is basically offloaded onto, onto the stamp. Just gonna make sure that it's like its tail is covered. So, dragonfly. And this one's gonna go up front here. Put it down, commit, and then press it on there. Just to it's fine. Also fine. That is cute. Oh. So, 
I think that is enough. I don't want to have any more on there. And this is going to be at the end, there's going to be some white wax on there also. But this is it for now. I think I'm going to get the camera a little closer so you can see basically my dryer doesn't move. I'm just gonna twist it over. You can see the nice shimmering of the of those moonshine metallics and that uh, purple, that custom purple he made. So, guys, that's it for tonight. Ah, I'll come down here again. That's it for tonight. I hope you like that. Guys, if you watch replay, hi, Amy. Hi, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. Um, yes, Shirley, that makes life much easier if you place it on this uh, clear mat. Yeah. Mm. So. There are so many ways you can do with loads of things and don't be scared to use um, the paints with the with the stamps, you know, this is, um, you're not getting like the, the perfect, uh, the perfect image, like with the, uh, the inks or something like that. But for me, that uh, gives those pieces like, like a little bit more of a character. So I really like working with it. And if you watch on Facebook, I posted today um, one of those kitchen shelves are also made with the chalk mineral paints and the bohemian stem from IOD. And I think that's uh, that's beautiful. I love the way it turns out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and you, well, that you um, maybe try it yourself. And um, yeah, this, I hope I can inspire you a little bit and that you, well, that you find some use out of my videos. If you do, I would highly appreciate if you like, leave me a like on my page and follow me. Um, that would be a great honor for me having you um, following me. So um, thank you for having joined me. If you watch replay, put hashtag replay in the comments. And uh, as I said, if you have questions, just put it in there also. I will come back later and answer that for you. And then I would say I'll let you go for tonight. It's uh, 22, uh, 11 p.m. over here. So it's late at night, wherever you are. You have a great day, great afternoon, great evening, great night. And thank you so much for, for joining me. Take care, guys, and I see you next week. You're welcome, Norma. You're welcome. Bye, Instagram. So, thank you, Nina. You guys are great. <laughs>